with the beautiful weather outside. Uh, look at that old man playing basketball. That must be nice. Everybody's out walking and enjoying the weather. But me, I'm stuck inside. Now, I, will, I do want to warn you guys. If you go through something like this, the last thing you want to do is watch a documentary on the plague or something like that. After locking up the bird whistles, Gail the Smith was himself visited with the plague. I just made that mistake. Wow, yeah, that's not something to watch when you're stuck inside because of a virus going around. In fact, during this whole thing, I highly recommend just leaving those kinds of things alone. That's the last thing you want to have on your mind is the Black Death or something like that. Don't watch those kinds of things. Instead, I would say play Xbox. <laughs> Nothing plague related. None of that sort of stuff. Don't, uh, don't play like Resident Evil or... Just avoid those kinds of things. Anything having to do with disease or something like that, probably best to avoid. You don't want to fill yourself full of all kinds of anxiety. I've also been contemplating taking down this Christmas tree that has been up since, uh, well, before Christmas, right after Thanksgiving time. Uh, <laughs> we've been away and stuck away, so this has been sitting here all this time. and Well, now I have tons of time, so I should be able to take it down, but, uh, well, I don't know. I kind of like being able to be lazy. That's the other thing that this, uh, this virus and being stuck inside has done. Now I have the perfect excuse not to do anything at all. You know, it's funny, they, uh, they called this morning and they said they would be coming by every day, but uh, well, so far, nobody's come by. Uh, they probably will at some point. It doesn't make a difference. I'm not going out or anything, so... <laughs> I, I know the reason that they come by is to check on our health, so... Uh, We'll be fine, but uh, I wish they'd tell us, then we'd know, instead of just constantly waiting, okay, are one of the local people going to show up to check on us? But, oh well. I guess it adds to, it gives you something to look forward to every day. Well, another thing that we're doing is I'm waiting for some dinner to be delivered, which uh, they will leave at the door, called Liang Pi, which I can show you guys in a bit. Also getting that old Chinese classic milk tea. Actually, I think it's from Taiwan, but... Yeah, it's pretty good. If you, they, they probably have it in America. I know they do. They probably have it everywhere. Give it a try sometime. It's sweet. There it is. So this is some uh, spicy stuff. Let me get these bits out. Here's the sauce. You can see it's full of all kinds of peppery stuff. We've also got... Oh, let me see if I can get it out of this thing. Ha! Ah. Got noodles and whatnot. If I can, ah, here you go. You can have a look, close up look at the vegetables and noodles. More spicy stuff. Yeah, you take this spicy stuff, pour it in, mix it all up. Bunch of sour, super spicy. Well, it's yeah, it's not that bad. It's actually really good. I enjoy it. I don't know that a lot of Westerners eat this stuff. You're probably looking at this and thinking, oh, I've never seen that at the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> yeah, this is real Chinese food. Street food, I should say. Okay, all that's left is to give it a try. Of course, I know what it's going to taste like, having had it before. Ooh, I lost one of these. Pretty good, as always. Now, as I mentioned, it's spicy, and that's the reason for this milk tea. Chewy. Well, thanks to the guards at the front, they wouldn't let a delivery guy through, so I'm going down to go get groceries. We tried to order them to have them delivered to the door, but I guess this guy doesn't want to let them through, so I'm going to try to do the right thing. And then somebody comes and messes it. It's a good thing they said I apparently just limit my going out. So I can still go out for things like this, but uh, I was trying to really limit my going out. <laughs> They're making it difficult, for heaven's sake. I'm actually glad to have the excuse to come out. A very pleasant evening. 
I've been watching people out the window all day, playing basketball, going on nice little walks. They're even filling up the swimming pool, getting it cleaned up for summer, I guess. Although that's a little ways off. But uh, yeah, there's a big swimming pool here at the community. My son used to like to go there when he was over here. And I'm sure he will again once everything calms down. But um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's nice to be able to get out. All right, got the groceries. As you can see, not that much stuff. I think it's just 50 RMB worth of stuff. But, uh, <laughs> oh, what a thing. Then the guy comes running over, he was afraid because, you know, when he talked to somebody on the phone, it was a lady. But then, of course, a foreigner comes and gets it. Go, what? What? Yeah. Oh, try to stay inside. And this is the result. But, like I said, it's nice to be able to come outside. Very pleasant evening. The, uh, the area around the apartments here, it's very nice, park-like setting, little ponds, and lots of uh, landscaping, trees, so it's nice to come out. Yeah, my wife, I look in this bag of groceries and I'm seeing like chips and, oh, I hope I didn't smash those eggs, I just saw eggs in there. Well, I hope not, <laughs> that would be terrible if I smashed the eggs. Uh, probably not, I hope not, I'll check it when I get back. Well, I think that's going to probably conclude today's video.